The final issue of Tetradrams by Arthur Barnes gives us this unusual facing bust and in fact may reflect the fact that he comes from Media Atropatini. Uh, we've seen that we have the facing head of Tyche on one of his earlier sets of tetradrams, and of course it also uh, tends to confirm the idea that the earlier issues that we've discussed uh, of uh, one of the unknown monarchs in, in the 70s BC was also from Media Atropatini. On the reverse, we again have an innovative design. This time the king is seated on horseback, uh, receiving the homage of Tyche. Uh, below the horse, we have a monogram, uh, which I think stands for the month Delta Omicron, or perhaps Lambda Omicron, indicating a low. And above the king's outstretched arm, uh, we've got the remnants of the year date. The early dram portraits of Artabanus show him with a long pointed beard and uh, we notice again the fact that the diadem it has a very prominent bow at the back uh, similar to that that was introduced by Vernones I. The reverse is quite standard in design and legend and we see from the monogram that this comes from the mint of Ecbatana. For his uh, final dram coinages, Artabanus adopted a rather square cut beard. These coins are, along with those of Mithridates II and Herodes II, amongst the most common of all Parthian coins. Again, the reverse has the standard design, seated archer, and underneath the bow we have the monogram for Ecbatana which continue to be the main mint. There are one or two peripheral mints operative, but their coins are much scarcer. It appears that uh, Artabanus was, to some extent, unable to keep control of his empire for the whole of his reign. And in particular, Seleucia, the great Greek city on the Tigris, was in rebellion. So. We don't know precisely, because we have no dated coins, uh, when Artabanus died. But he was succeeded, apparently again with problems, between two men here, Vardanes I, and another man who may be a brother of Vardanes, again we're not sure, a man named Gattazes. Now this particular tetradram of Vardanes I uh, gives us a portrait with a prominent wart on the brow the recurrence indicating an attempt to prove true descent. The reverse, of course, is by now pretty well standardized, and we have above the palm offered by the Nike, the year date, Gamma Nu Tor, and down at the bottom in the exerg, the month, Gorpios. Vardani's drams, uh, give us a rather more stylized portrait uh, with three waves to the hair and a sharply pointed beard. The wart on the forehead of the tetradrams is now reduced to a rather unusual combination of towards the right a horizontal line and then in front of that one oblique line upwards to the right and although it's not clear on this specimen another oblique line upwards to the left. They're not at all clear what the implication of this strange occurrence is. The reverses are becoming more and more crude, and although you can make out a certain amount of the Greek legend that's supposed to be there, uh, much of it uh, tends towards in unintelligibility. Uh, the monogram shows us again the Ekbatana mint. Vardanes was assassinated by the nobles whilst out hunting and therefore uh, the other contender at this time, Gotazes, came to the throne. Here we see the portrait of Gotazes, very similar to that on the last issues of Artabanus, who may have been his father, but is differentiated by again a horizontal line on the forehead uh, which presumably represents the wart. 
the style of this coin shows it the die was probably cut by the same engraver who'd been working for Fadani's and we've got the same degree of unintelligibility again from Ekbatana. Here we see another drachma of Gotazis. Again, although the condition of the coin is slightly inferior to the last one, the wart, the horizontal line on the brow, is still apparent. The reverse legend is rather unusual insofar as it differs very much from what we normally have on the Parthian issues of this period. Uh, there is some rather ungrammatical Greek at the bottom, but quite clearly you can see at the left-hand side the outer word is Goterzes, uh, proving that these coins were struck by him, and inside that uh, you've got the remnants of Artabanu, and the Greek words inside seem to imply that he called himself on the coins, whether in fact he actually was or not, he called himself the son of Artabanus. So, as I say, this is one of the very few drachmae which we have which actually give us a royal name instead of the dynastic Arsakes. On the issues from further east, we have a rather more debased portrait of Gotazes, and although there may be a wart on the forehead, uh, we can't be absolutely certain that this is just not the wear of the coin. In front of him, of course, we've got a star and crescent, a form of decoration which we don't find on the Ekbatana dram issues. The legend on the reverse of this piece, of course, is reduced to complete rubbish. Underneath the bow, we have a reversed N, indicating probably that the coin was struck at Nisa, Mithridat Kart, a city which is now in the Soviet Turkmenistan, as it used to be until fairly recently. Here is one of Gotazi's tetradrams, and you can see that the wart has been replaced by a rather strange lock of hair, perhaps intended to cover up the wart on the brow of the monarch. On the reverse, uh, we have a Taiki presenting a diadem to the enthroned king, and above the diadem, we have the year date Eta New Tor. Uh, the month date is off the flan at the bottom. The inside word on the right-hand side should be Uergetu, but you can see uh, that the fifth letter, instead of being a gamma, has its tail engraved, so it looks as though it's a sigma. Types of mistake of this sort were quite common on the coins of Gotazes and his predecessor, Vardanes. Gotazes himself fell a victim either to disease or to uh, a, an assassination conspiracy. Uh, the historians of Rome are not at all sure as to which was the cause of his death. Anyway, the next coins in terms of the actual numismatic sequence are these, and uh, we know that there was at this time a relatively ephemeral king, as Vernones II, who also uh, came from Media Atropatini. So the fact that we've got a facing bust uh, confirms our idea that we may have a king from that part of the world, temporarily on the Arsakid throne. The tiara which he's wearing is very similar to that which actually occurs on one or two of the rare issues of about 70 BC. And these also contain the facing bust drams which uh, may be from an Atropatinian prince. Uh, the stars either side are a decoration for which we really don't have any clear uh, reason. Finally, we may note that above the right eyebrow, we've got a prominent wart. The caricature of the archer on the reverse is only relatively less good uh, than the legend which is engraved around it. But the monogram we have, of course, indicates still the Ekbatana mint.